Good day, grade 1. Today, we're going to have a lesson that you will surely enjoy and have fun with. And the title of our lesson for today is Visualizing and Reading Numbers from 0 to 100. So to start, let's look at the picture. So, what do you see? Very good. It's a room. And what do you observe? Yes, the room is clean, neat, and organized. Because this is Lisa's room. She always makes sure that it is clean and organized. Now, one day, after arranging and counting the things in her room, she found out that she did not have her ribbon where she could possibly place it. That's why she made a list of the things inside her room this way. So this is her list. These are her things. And these are the number of the items there. To have an idea on the number of things to be found in her room, let us visualize each of the items she listed. First is the ribbon. There is zero ribbon in her room. Take note of the spelling of zero. When it is zero, it means nothing or no ribbon in her room. So this is the spelling of zero and this is the numerical symbol. Next, towel. There is one towel in her room. So, this is the spelling of one. And this is the numerical symbol for one. And this is her towel. Next, shoes. There are two pairs of shoes in her room. So this is the spelling of two, and this is the numerical symbol for two. And these are her two shoes. Next, jackets. There are three jackets in her room. So this is the spelling of three. And this is the numerical symbol for three. And these are her three jackets. Next, pencils. There are four pencils in her room. So four, this is the spelling of four. And this is the numerical symbol for four. And these are her four pencils. Next, hair clips. There are five hair clips in the room. So this is the spelling of five. And this is the numerical symbol for five. And these are her five hair clips. Next. The headbands. So, there are six headbands in the room. This is the spelling of six. And this is the numerical symbol for six. And these are her six headbands. Next, t-shirts. There are seven t-shirts in the room. So, this is the spelling of 7. And this is the numerical symbol for 7. And these are the 7 t-shirts. There. Next, the skirts. There are 8 skirts in the room. This is the spelling of 8. And this is the numerical symbol for 8. There. And these are her 8 skirts. 
next the notebook there are nine notebooks in the room. So this is the spelling of nine. This is the numerical symbol for nine. And these are the nine notebooks. And of course, the handkerchiefs. So there are ten handkerchiefs in the room. So this is the spelling of ten. This is the numerical symbol for 10. And these are her 10 handkerchiefs. Now children, there are other ways to count, especially if the number is already more than 10. We may use these blocks to count numbers that are more than 10. So. Just for a start, this block is called a unit and counted as 1. So this is a unit, this is a block, call it a unit, and counted as 1 only. Next. This group of blocks is counted as 10. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We may also call this as a long. Now, for example, we have one long or a group of 10 blocks plus another 10. And then we have 20. Plus, we have four units. So there, 20 plus 4 is 24. Another, another long or a group of 10 plus another group of 10 plus another group of 10 plus another group of 10 equals 40. So we have 40 blocks here, or 4, 10 blocks, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So 40 plus 5 is equals 45. Next. We have the set of longs. So we have 10 longs or 10 groups of 10 blocks. So when we put them all together, we will have 100. So there. Remember, when we count, we can use objects like toys, things around us, and even blocks. And we may also use blocks to count numbers that are more than 10, just like what we did. We may use these blocks. Now, let's have brain exercise. Let's count the objects and choose the right number. So, number one, how many apples do we have? Is it five? Six? Or seven. Let's count. And the answer is very good. We have five apples. Next. Number two. How many marbles do we have? Is it seven, eight, or nine? Please count. And the answer is great. Seven marbles. Next, number three, we have two groups of ten blocks or two longs plus three units. So how many blocks do we have? Let's see, 21, 22, or 23? And the answer is 
Very good. We have 23. And for number 4, we have 3 groups of 10 blocks or 3 longs plus 6 units. So is it 36, 37, or 38? Let's count. And the answer is... Very good. 36. Yes, very good, grade 1. Now, we already know how to visualize the numbers and count them as well.